Okay, so I'm here with Sister LaShawn Long, and she's actually preparing some of the garments that are going to be worn for the parade, the Harambe Festival, taking place in October, the last Saturday in October, which is October the 27th this year. So would you please tell me, uh, whatever you can tell me about the design here, what, what am I looking at? Uh, you're looking at a mantra circle that's about to be placed on a skirt not a skirt but a dress part of masquerade is all about the symbolism just like they do in mardi gras you know how they prepare the masquerades and everything this is a preparation of masquerade for the harambe festival and what we're trying to draw is a lot of positive energy positive energy and the mantra flower is one that's real popular today especially if you look on the internet you see a lot of the lotus flowers now so it was one of the things that I thought of when it came time to redo a couple of my own masquerades. This masquerade is dealing with Ilegua and Ilegua is known as the gatekeeper. A lot of the stuff you see as a symbolism here you see the, the uh, the uh, crosses, the crossroads here. And we have other different crossroads represents and um, other sectors. You know, the spinning wheel represents the world and where we are and where we stand. But every bead, just like they say, it's a lot of work, it's very intricate, a whole lot of work. So hopefully by the time that the Harambe Festival is here, I will probably have all of this done and prepared and you can swing it over there hanging off is another beautiful masquerade while you're going over where it's got it sitting on the with bells on it so you'll see a lot of the people with setting up with masquerades and um, uh, representing their ancestors from what I understand we're planning on bringing out the masquerade of Baba Fayomi who used to be the chief of Dallas his Baba Eleko out his children are going to come out and they're going to be in the parade and they're going to represent some of the ancestors and the Agungans also. So you'll have a combination of deities that are like angels in the Yoruba. In Yoruba, they're known as Orisha. In the Voodoo culture and the Santeria culture, they're known as Loas. And these particular loas and these particular orishas, whichever factor that you're a part of, these are the gatekeepers or the angels that are the protectors of us. They're like, you know, how you have that, that guardian angel. You have a mother figure. You have a father. You have a spa, father's physic, um, blah. You have a father spirit head. And you have a mother spirit head that always protects you and guides you at certain you know at certain times of the season. Sometimes the seasons you may have the spirit of Shango, which is a leader that's able to put you know things forward that 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 leads the people to do the things that needs to be done. Maybe you have time where you have the spirit of Ogun on you. This is dealing with the police. This is dealing with the military. Dealing with firemen. Um, Dealing with Ilegua, you're dealing with communication, dealing with messengers, sending messages to people and bringing messages to people. If you want to deal with love affections, we're dealing with Oshun. You know, sweet Oshun is the, you know, golden child. So we're going to see many things. Even we can see down here on the floor, you see that I've already finished up a lot of the masquerades already. And I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of the people that are going to be volunteering, you know, wear some of these masquerades. And just to give you a general idea, this is a masquerade for the owl. This is a masquerade that represents your ancestors. This represents the Gede family. Those that know about the Gede family are the protector of the bones. They're known as protector of the bones. In Louisiana, everybody knows about Baron Semity and Gede. <laughs> we have Oshun over here. Everyone loves Oshun, the mother goddess. And her counterpart, which is Ursuli Frida, which is the voodoo version of Oshun. We have one of the warriors, Ochosi. And the traditional Ilegua, 
Legba mask that represents secrecy because whenever you see the tassels or whenever you see certain people that come into royalty they'll wear crowns that have the tassels in front of them or you'll see certain women that have those veils the reason for the veils is the reason that they are the keepers of the great secrets of of the unknown world on certain said things i have my ancestor altar here with my my altar of elegba and as you see, like I said, just trying to get a lot of the stuff ready. I have all my jester hats, so I can't wait to see some of my students getting my jester's hats and what volunteers would like to wear one. Because usually when the jester comes out to play, you know, it's always the ringing of the bells and the fun, the fun, fun, fun. So the goal is this Harambe Festival is to try to dazzle the children about their culture dazzle them about what Harambe Festival is, dazzle them about their ancestors that sit at the feet of God. And we're talking about the multitude, if anybody that's Christian, we're talking about the multitudes of the millions that sit at the feet of God. So this actually represents a part of them. So come out and celebrate what our people used to celebrate. It doesn't make a difference if you're Christian, Nation of Islam, Buddha, whatever it is. We're all one people. We all worship the same God that has many, many, many names. So we need to come together as brothers and sisters, at least celebrate for the children. Because the main reason for the Harambe Festival and, and the reason why it's done on the last day, the last Saturday in, um, in October is because of Halloween. Back in the 70s, Halloween was known as not a good time. Actually, the 70s, 60s and 70s was not a good time to be a kid in, you know, in Halloween. There was many, many deaths. I can speak on this because I have lost classmates during that time. With that being said, the Harambe Festival was created to make children at my time, this is back, Harambe started in 1974, I was three and a half years old. So to me, Harambe was the first step into me knowing my culture and being dazzled by the masquerades. Not just what the masquerades that I see on TV, not the masquerades that society wants us to see, but the masquerades of our ancestors. The masquerades of the people that we used to celebrate back in the day. And yes, some will actually would kind of relate this to Mardi Gras and Day of the Dead. You should. You really should because this is a time to celebrate your ancestors. Yes, we have those spirits that are that are here on this plane that are confused, but it's our job in the masquerade to lead them back to the other side to not provoke, you know, the land of the living or cause too much confusion in the living. So come on out and help us teach these things to our children. Harambe, Harambe, Harambe.